iOS 14 official review. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. iOS 14 has officially been launched. Keep in mind the update size for this one is gonna be quite large as this is a major update. It is the official, it's always a pretty big size. You can see there are plenty of features. I mean, over a hundred new features I've seen, even more than that going through it. So we're gonna break that down for you here in this video. We'll begin with the all new widgets. They've been redesigned and you can place these things basically anywhere you you want on the home screen they're not quite as customizable as an android device but still they're pretty neat and you could see off to the left where you would see like the things you're going to do for today that is basically redesigned as well with the newer widgets now you can press the plus sign to go ahead and add these widgets and there's plenty of them here within this ios 14 update for you and as time goes along more and more developers will be on board and giving new widgets we'll see how this goes right now it still feels pretty beta even though this is the official software, we still have a lot more widgets that we need to see going forward. But for now, you can see all the Apple widgets are very neat and polished and they have different sizes. You can have a smaller one, a medium sized one, a bigger one. And for a first attempt, I think overall, you're gonna really, really love these widgets. They kind of give you an at a glance information. They're not really interactive, so you can kind of swipe through the smart stack, which we're gonna show you in a minute, but you can edit these widgets like the Apple Music one, for example, or also we can go over here to the weather widget and we could edit our location, things like that. But they're not super interactive except for this particular widget right here, which is going to be the smart stack. Now this one, you can kind of interact by swiping through different widgets again though you're not actually interacting with the app you're kind of just swiping through to get another piece of an at a glance information but the overall widget design i think is quite nice and this is one of the main features you're going to see now the next one is app library within ios 14 you can see right here if i zoom in they do have intelligent algorithms that will help you see suggestions recently added up there at the top. And it puts it kind of in a neat folder so you don't really have to go ahead and put it anywhere you want. Now you actually cannot move the applications where you want within the app library. Maybe we'll see that in a future update, but for now you cannot do that for iOS. But why is this important in the app library? Well, because if you have too many application pages and you wanna get rid of them because your home screens are getting cluttered, you now could just hold them Tap on these dots at the bottom and you can see right here, we can go ahead and hide these pages. Pretty neat here and they're not actually gone. You're kind of just hiding them. They're still there, but you're just hiding them. So you can just have widgets on your home screen, maybe all your applications organized off to the right. So this is a very big change in the way you operate iOS and you can quickly just re-add them back if you don't want them to be hidden anymore. And keep in mind, you never have to use these widgets if you don't wanna use these widgets with an iOS 14. Now also, I wanna state that you can also swipe through these dots at the bottom really quickly to get through these pages instead of swiping through each individual page. And also there's a new compact Siri design where you can see the Siri is actually just a little bit small, a lot smaller. It doesn't take up the whole screen anymore. You can see it separates the answer at the top. In addition, when you get calls, one of the most amazing features here is that now your calls will be displayed in a little banner up at the top. You can end that call easily or answer it. Also FaceTime video does this as well within iOS 14. So do keep that in mind. These are some features you might like. Now iMessage also gets some neat updates as well, such as pin conversation. So we're gonna go ahead and pin Steve here. So we'll just click at the bottom and there will be an option to hit pin and you can pin up to nine people up here. So can organize your messages and who you talk to most pretty nicely. Also there's inline replies. So if you wanna reply to a specific message or a specific you know bubble within the bubbles, you can go ahead and just reply to that specific message, start a new conversation based on that topic. I could see this being very useful. Also, we can now search within our emojis here. So had you ever had a hard time trying to find your emojis? Well, guess what? <laughs> it's game over. Now you could just search for a sunset if you, you couldn't find that picture. You know, this is gonna be excellent as I've been wanting this forever. Now you can go ahead and do mention replies as well. So you'll mention the contact name, it'll highlight, and then you can bring that person within that group chat. And now also there's new hairstyles within Memoji, so that's pretty neat as well. There's 11 new ones. In addition, there is a new fist bump and new headwear. So you could see 
pretty neat. There's also new age options as well. If you wanted to make your Momoji look a little bit older, a little bit younger, you can see that fist bump right there is a new feature. And also, I don't know why you would use face covering. It's not like you're going to spread any viruses through your phone, but they have those if you want to go ahead and use the face covering on your Momoji. Now you can see we have skin, hairstyles, head, eyewear, headwear. There's plenty of things going on here within Memoji. So that's a nice neat update. Now maps get some nice updates as well, including cycling navigation. There's new curated guides to help you if you're going to a new city or something like that, or a new place. You can see here's how they look. In addition to that, we do have some really nice and new neat electric vehicle options. So here's the guides looking pretty neat, I think, to get started here. Electric vehicle chargers and a Tell you kind of like where you can go to charge your electric car. So if you're into that stuff, you're really going to like this. It'll help you route and plan. Now, cycling direction still feels very beta because it's only available in a couple of cities. So Apple Maps, once again, behind Google Maps, I'd say, especially in cycling directions, it's going to take some time before they get that updated. But once it does, it will be fantastic. You can see right here that we do have pretty good overall location, precise location tracking on this one. So the maps does get a good update. Also, picture in picture for iOS 14. Now, the annoying thing is that YouTube, you can't do it on YouTube just yet. You have to do it on YouTube through the Safari browser. You can use it on things like Apple TV as well, but you can swipe it, bring it, bring it smaller, bring it bigger. You can put it over to the side. You can still hear the audio while it's over to the side. So overall, you know, picture in picture is nice, but I think it's going to be more useful once Apple has it in the YouTube app or Google updates it for the YouTube app, but you can use it in Apple TV plus and things like that. Now app clips also comes to the iOS 14 experience. You're going to notice this more with NFC and QR codes. It's just going to make a smaller application of a regular application. So you don't have to keep opening up your iPhone's application every time just to do a quick test. So over time that will get better. Also, do you like to translate on your iPhone? Because within iOS 14, we're getting new updates to translate. You know, there's 11 languages here, something like that. So you'll have plenty to work with here, at least some of the most popular languages on the iPhone to get started here. Um, there's gonna be a lot more added over time. So I can't wait to see that for people who are not using these languages. I would love to see those new updates in the future. But for now, for these ones right here, um, you can go ahead and split screen the language and you can get different answers and stuff like that. So I really do like translate here for iOS built right in. Now also Siri gets expanded knowledge. So Siri is just gonna bring more facts than ever to the iPhone experience. In addition to that, it has a broader selection of questions and information that you're gonna be able to find throughout the internet. And then talking about CarPlay, you get new wallpapers in CarPlay. You can also do audio messages through Siri and voice with Siri translation right on Apple CarPlay. So Apple CarPlay updates are neat for iOS. You can also do dark mode there as well. Very nice. Now in search, we do have more intensive search. So you can basically kind of see like little text within different apps. You can do things just more extensive. Search kind of does everything now versus before it was a little bit less in depth. Also on the home app, like if you like to do automation and stuff like that, you're going to get dynamic suggestions. I didn't actually set up my home devices just yet. I'm about to do that after this video, but you get face recognition for video cameras, activity zones. There's a lot going on there. Now, Safari gets even faster here with iOS 14 with the new JavaScript engine, improved performance on here. Also nice features changes to kind of how you change your text size, reader mode, stuff like that. In addition, you have password monitoring on here and you can find privacy reports as well. You can also hold down here on this tab and close all tabs at once within iOS 14. I mean, Safari just getting faster and Safari was already one of the fastest browsers. So yeah, Safari updates pretty neat here for iOS 14. Now within weather, you will get minute by minute precipitation forecast if it is raining. Fortunately, there's no rain around Chicago right now. It's pretty sunny, which I'm loving right now, but you will get minute by minute forecast update for precipitation, snow and rain. You can see air quality reports as well. And below here, you'll be able to see your precise location for weather data. So weather app, pretty nice. Within AirPods, if you got some AirPods, you will be able to use things like spatial audio with the new iOS 14. 
in addition to that, that will give you kind of an immersive sound experience with your AirPods and your iPhone, really upgrading, you know, the experience you get with your headphones. In addition, battery notifications will let you know when to charge. That's what it says right in the update notes itself. So that's pretty neat. And headphone accommodations as well. So there's a lot going on here, a couple new features for AirPods. And then within the camera, you could see with this privacy feature, we can see when it's recording audio and when it's recording video. That's pretty nice. And not only that, you won't just see this in the camera. You'll also see this within Safari. If someone's tracking you, it'll show that little dot up there. So bringing privacy to another level here. And then if we go to tracking, you could see you can allow apps to request to track. And you can also see which apps and turn off, which ones are tracking your precise, like right where you are, your precise location. You could do that within iOS 14. So I'm really feeling this for 14. Privacy features going to another level. You could see within accessibility, we do have a lot of new features, including some new features to voiceover recognition, which is gonna get a little bit more intelligent. We have sound recognition now, which we'll use on device intelligence. And this will kind of find things like alarms, alert you, things like that. Again, we talked about headphone accommodations, pretty nice in accessibility, but there's one that many people keep talking about. And it's one of my favorite here. And it's the new back tap feature within iOS 14. You can go ahead and kind of set it up to double tap whatever you want it to do. Like home, for example, I double tap and the phone's gonna go basically right home here. So one, two, and then it's gonna go home. And then if we go back into settings and I go into the triple tap section right here, let's go ahead and put this for screenshot. So if I put this for screenshot here, I'm gonna go ahead and triple tap the back of this. You could see it took a screenshot. So, so nice accessibility features within iOS 14. Also within the app store, you'll get important details about your applications, such as developers, who's making it, stuff like that. So a lot more, you know, kind of knowing exactly where that app's coming from. And then you have Apple Arcade. You'll be able to see, you know, all games with improved ratings and stuff like that, categories, stuff like that. You'll be able to see achievements, a lot more updates to just make the Apple Arcade experience better. Now, Apple Cash really have some good updates for families. So you can turn it off for people under 18. So people aren't using your phone to make payments. It's got some good parental control updates. And then also I wanna mention the camera. So the camera now, you can do this quick take video option in the iPhone XR as well as the iPhone XS. So if you have those older phones, you can do that now. In addition, you could change that video setting and the quick video settings up there. So, you know, you have to have a 10s or a 10R. That's gonna be pretty great. For those users also we have a new exposure compensation control now this will be able to help you easily lock that exposure this is great for videographers or photographers who just want to get that perfect shot in addition we can also use a better night mode here especially if you have the iphone 11 pro that's basically the only one it's going to work on and also apple has said to improve you know the speed of taking photos and videos that's always great because it was already very fast. Now, FaceTime sees some nice updates to improve quality up to 1080p. We'll have to have users actually confirm how good this really is over time. Now, File sees some upgrades to APFS encryption for your external drives, as mentioned in the update notes. But over here within the photos, you'll be able to pinch to zoom. Now, you've been able to do this on Android for quite some time, so that's nice. Also, you're getting better image pickers and overall memories and things like that is gonna be just a much better experience in iOS 14. It's just gonna be categorized better. It'll be pretty awesome. And then within Apple Podcasts here, you'll also be able to see you know, a better listen now section. It's gonna be smarter and it's gonna organize what you should listen to or kind of like based on what you've been listening to, it's gonna give you better suggestions. In reminders, you, not, you can now add a new reminder what I have to go into list and you could update the smart list, move them around wherever you would want. So overall, some nice updates to reminders. And then if we go to settings and go to Chrome, you can also set default browsers and you could also do this in email apps. Keep in mind though, certain browsers and email apps are not actually developed to support that yet. So only some big names right now. Now I will state one thing as well. In Apple Health, the full sleep schedule is a pretty awesome feature as health is just an area where we really wanna see major updates in our lives always. We also do have some mobility features here within Apple Health. This is new, a category that'll track your mobility. Pretty nice here in iOS 14. But really I wanna emphasize sleep is such an important part and element of our health to make sure that our cells are repairing ourselves and we're getting just great 
overall health. So definitely I do love this feature. I think you should use it if you are gonna download 14. And then note, see some enhanced sections. You can, you can pin things now a little bit better. You can lock things, top hits are better. Overall shape recognition comes here as well when you're drawing lines, arcs, and other shapes as mentioned in the notes. And also I gotta say just sharper overall scanning for documents and precise, more precise auto cropping. So the overall notes for the iOS 14 is just a little bit of a better experience once again. And then in Apple Music, a very popular app amongst Apple users, you can go ahead and see this new Listen Now tab. And also the cover art will kind of match the color of the song and stuff like that. Lyrics are gonna get a little bit better. And then when searching your library, the filtering is gonna be just better. So it'll help you find things like the artist, the albums, the playlist a little bit easier within Apple Music. So if you really love Apple Music, definitely do the update. I think you're gonna like what Apple has brought here with iOS 14 to Apple Music. Also the icon color change, it's now like this coral looking color, uh, also in the widgets. Now in voice memos, you have the ability to start favoriting your recordings and just organize your recordings better. There's folders now for the recordings as well. So people who rely on this quite a bit from their iPhone are gonna like these neat new features. It just keeps you better organized within the voice memos application. And also the voice memo recording is supposed to get better as well. So I gotta state, I really do like that. Overall, the performance on this latest official version is now very fast like we would expect. So that's a thumbs up there for sure. Overall, iOS 14 brings widgets. It brings the app library. It brings a lot of neat new things behind the scenes, things you'll just not really notice, but they'll add to the overall experience. So a very refined overall software experience. I don't think it's a total rehaul, but adding widgets definitely changes the experience for you guys, the users. So. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts, experiences on iOS 14. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.